just want to just uh, share a few thoughts with you this evening. I know we've got a week of prayer and fasting coming up next week. And I had a message prepared for that. I had everything ready for it. And uh, maybe the Lord will use it again. As somebody once said, I think it was a preacher from our church, once said that gold never loses its value. So I don't know if there's much gold in it, but uh, I'm going to save it just in case for another time, unless the Lord says. But, you know, as I was just praying and waiting on God today, I just felt God change direction with a message and just want to be obedient to the Lord with that tonight. And the title of this message this evening is For the Frustrated. For those who are frustrated, and I have uh, the passage of scripture that God laid on my heart tonight is Isaiah chapter 40, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to 31. And it says this, have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Or as it says in another translation, those who wait upon the Lord. Those who trust, those who wait on the Lord will find new strength. I wonder if you've ever had one of those days where You just get agitated with everything, where you get frustrated with everything. You know, I've got to be honest, today was one of those days for me. It just seems like a bit of a buildup over the last couple of days and weeks. There's just so much going on at the moment in my life. Good things, but also challenges and difficulties as well come in my way. Even yesterday, George had a bump in the car and, uh, you know, it throws you, doesn't it, when things like that happen. It's, It's just, you know, things are going well and all of a sudden things come out of the blue, isn't it? And sometimes you can just get frustrated with things and the littlest thing can just agitate you and frustrate you and I don't know if you you like me, but when I get frustrated, I find it hard to to get out of that, to stop being irritated. You know, I felt stressed, I felt tired, I felt overwhelmed, and I was snappy with those around me. Can you believe that the pastor of your church gets snappy and sometimes has a short fuse? My dad is often at the end of that, so dad, I'm sorry for that today, but I was short and I, I, I was I was just getting so frustrated. Every little thing was agitated, agitated me. And so this morning I I took my dog, Charlie, out for a walk, took her for a walk up the country park. And that's a photo from her this morning. That's it this morning. And uh, I took her out after my dad told me. He said, do you think you should take her out? I thought, Dad, please don't add to that. Don't need this right now. I've got enough work to do. But but he said, you know, it's time to, you know, maybe you should take her out. So I took Charlie out for a walk and I went up to the country park. And I've got to be honest. I was still frustrated even as I went out. You know, they say, don't they, when you go for a walk, it clears your head, it helps you think, and it does. But I was just feeling frustrated, agitated. Things were just aggravating me. And as I was walking, I just began praying. I said, Lord, I'm just agitated. You know all these things that are going on in my life. And I just began just to pray quietly in my heart. Sometimes I do pray out loud when I'm going for a walk as well, but I got my earphones in. So if anyone thinks I'm crazy, then I could just say, look, I'm talking to somebody. So, you know, they don't know if I'm on the phone or not. But I was just praying as I was out on this walk. And it was on this spot up by the country park. I don't know if you've ever been to this part here, but it's on the way up to the to the top lake. And as I was at this point, I just pray and I was just feeling really frustrated. God spoke to me and God really ministered to me and encouraged me. I thank God that he's a God who speaks to us, who knows us, who loves us, who cares for us and speaks to us right into our situation. And, you know, God spoke to me and he reminded me of this passage of scripture that I've read tonight. You know, it's important, and I want to say this. You might say, well, why is it important to read the Bible? Why is it important to memorize the Bible? Because you'll never know when you need it. And you'll never know how God can speak to you in certain moments when you don't have a Bible at hand. But it's amazing. As I was out for this walk, the Holy Spirit just brought this word to my heart. And it was verse 31 of Isaiah 40. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And you know, as I was out on that walk, as I was walking up the hill, I felt the Holy Spirit say to me, Luke, it's time to rise up above this. 
It's time to come higher. I felt the wind hitting me and I just felt God say, it's time to rise higher than this. Just trust in me, look to me and allow me to lift you up above your situations and your circumstances. Allow me to encourage you. Allow me to minister to you. Allow me to breathe in you new life so that you soar above these situations so that you don't get hindered or you don't get frustrated by all of these problems. And as I just felt the Lord saying that to me, I just was reminded of that song that we sing as a congregation. And in a moment, we're going to listen to this song and I pray it'll be an encouragement to you. But I was reminded of the song, Eagle's Wings. And, you know, I just felt God say, you know, all, you know that song says about surrender and about how God will breathe in me new life and I will rise on eagle's wings. And I just, as I was just walking there, frustrated, you know, snappy, angry, God was merciful. And God spoke into that situation. And I felt like the burdens were lifting. I felt like those weights were lifting. Yes, circumstances haven't changed. Yes, the, the work is still there. Yes, the, the things are still there. But there was something that changed inside me. And it was because God had ministered to me. And tonight, I just, maybe you've come here this evening and maybe you were frustrated about the circumstance you find yourself in. Maybe you're frustrated with work tonight. Maybe you're frustrated about your walk with the Lord. Maybe you're frustrated about your health circumstance. Maybe you're frustrated about the situation with your loved one. Maybe you're frustrated at all that's going on in this world this evening. Maybe it's a relationship, whatever it is. Maybe you're just feeling frustrated tonight and, and you just can't get out of that, that situation, out of that feeling. I believe tonight God wants to minister to you. I believe just as God ministered to me up in the country park, he wants to minister to you this evening. And I believe God wants to call each and every one of us tonight to come higher. Rise higher above it all tonight. Allow God to breathe in you and cause you to rise above eagles on eagles' wings this evening. He doesn't want you tonight to just keep being frustrated, but instead rise above it this evening. Allow God to minister to you. And tonight, Maybe you're struggling with all those things. All I want to encourage you to do in this moment this evening, as we even listen to this song in a few seconds, is just all I want you to do. If you're feeling frustrated tonight, just surrender. Just give it to God. Just give it to Him. Just allow God to minister to you tonight. The Holy Spirit's already here. The presence of God is already here this evening. And I believe God wants to minister to you. Yes, there's times where we minister to the Lord. But tonight, I believe God wants to just touch your heart right where you're at. If you're feeling frustrated, tired, stressed, anxious, just let God meet you. If you're hurting tonight, if you're afraid tonight, just let God minister to you tonight. He's your father, your heavenly father. He loves you. Let him take care of you tonight. Let him meet your needs this evening. You don't have to do anything tonight. Just open up your heart, listen to this song, and allow God by his spirit just to touch your heart.